Thank you so much for joining us in celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Judgment of Paris. This was a momentous event. In 1976, an English gentleman by the name of Stephen Spurrier, who lived in Paris and owned a wine shop and a wine school, decided he needed some publicity for both of those enterprises. So what he thought he would do was to organize a blind tasting, some of the best French wines, the best white burgundies, and the best red Bordeaux. And to make it even more interesting, since it was the American Bicentennial, he thought he would throw in a few California wine. So he picked the best French judges, all professionals. He set a date and they tasted through all these wines. He invited the media to attend, to get the publicity of course, but French media thought about this and said, but of course the French wines will win. This is not an event. So the only reporter who showed up that day was a gentleman by the name of George Tabor who was a rookie journalist at Time Magazine. He himself did not think it would be a story, but he thought if he had nothing better to do that day, then he'd show up. Fortunately, he showed up and he saw history being made. The French judges tried the wines and in the first round, all the white burgundies versus California Chardonnays, the French judges picked my father's 1973 Chateau Montalina Chardonnay to be the very best wine, which outscored every wine in the tasting at 132 points. That afternoon, they tried Red Bordeaux versus California Cabernets, and another Napa Valley vintner came out on top, Warren Vignarski with his Stag's Leap 73 Cabernet Sauvignon. This was a shocking event. The French were so mad, they thought both of these wines were French, demanded their scores back. But George wrote an article, sent it out in Time magazine, and the news shocked the wine world. It was amazing that California upstarts could actually beat the French with French judges. So this event was something that my father did not even know about, nor did any of the California vintners. And when he got a phone call from Frank Pryle of the New York Times, he thought he was in trouble. Somebody from the press back in communist Yugoslavia where he grew up, if they called you, you knew you were in trouble. So he said, what have I done wrong? Well, you've done nothing wrong, Mike, they said. Your wine is the best Chardonnay in the world. And so they flew out, they did an article, and my dad is still to this day in shock at the amazing occurrence that happened to his life. After his success with the Paris tasting, he met a gentleman by the name of Austin Hills and Austin's sister, Mary Lee. They were both from the Hills Brothers coffee family and wanted to have a winery that made some of the best wines in the world. So on July 4th, 1977, they broke grounds in Rutherford, California to found Gergich Hills Cellar. That date was chosen because for my father, it symbolized his achievement of the American dream. Many years after the fact, George Tabor wrote a book about the experience called The Judgment of Paris in 2005, and it's still in print to this day. In addition, there's also a major motion picture that's being made. The script is written by Robert Kamen, who made The Karate Kid and The Taken Trilogy. So why is this event so significant for so many people so many years after the fact? Well, it's an event in which the underdog wins. And as my father said, it proved that you don't need French soil to make great wines. We are so excited that after many years of encouragement, my father has finally written down his memoirs in a book entitled, A Glass Full of Miracles. It will be released on his 93rd birthday, April 1st, 2016. We'll be celebrating the release of the book and also the 40th anniversary of the Paris tasting with events throughout the country. We're not just celebrating Mike's victory, nor the victory of Napa Valley, but we're celebrating the victory of anyone who has ever achieved the American dream. Please join me in raising your glass and toasting to the success of the American dream. With hard work and passion, you can achieve anything. Givele. Thank you.